Today we're going to be talking about the software on the Sneedjet Freedom Series. This is your main screen after you boot the unit up. This is what will come up. We have our print preview area. This is what we call WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. The ruler along the side and the top uh, give you an indication of how tall the characters should be as well as how long they should be when all of your settings are correct. We have our load file button here. This allows us to select a file for printing. Once we're in there, you can choose the, the appropriate file and then click OK. Uh, you have the ability to load it from the U disk if you have saved it to a U disk or your local drive. We're going to go ahead and uh, click the arrow up here to go back to the main screen. The area right here, this indicates the file that has been selected for printing. This is your current count. You can adjust your counter settings using the counter settings menu. You've got counter 1, counter 2, and your print count, all with their own individual parameters to be adjusted, except for the print count. This is a master count for all prints. Okay, <clears throat> on the uh, bottom section here, we have our clock. If that is not accurate, you can adjust that in the settings menu. Here we have our print mode. You can choose between sensor or automatic. Our direction for direction of print and the speed. Keep in mind the for the speed, the smaller the number, the faster the print, the lower the no, the larger the number, the slower the print. So uh, if you've got a six here, that's faster than a uh, sixty. Your print width. Uh, this is an adjustment for when you're using an encoder as opposed to using the speed. Uh, if you have your encoder selected, you would adjust the uh, width of the print using that setting. Over here are print voltage and pulse width. These are cartridge firing parameters. If you change ink types, please make sure to verify what the proper settings are with your cartridge, and you can adjust those right there. The interval is your print delay or spacing from the time the sensor reads the product until it actually begins to print. The higher the number, the longer we'll wait until it actually begins to print. In our gray level, this is a boldness level. Uh, we currently have it set to one. Keep in mind that every one that you go, in, go up, it increases or doubles the amount of ink usage. So it doubles it from one to two and then doubles again from two to three and, and so on. Our next page here, we have our DPI setting. Our current setting for the Freedom Series is at 300. Uh, this is the Freedom 21, so we have the option of one or two nozzles, or we can splice or stitch those nozzles together by choosing the splice function. Our offset is how long the system waits between printing with the first head until it begins to print with the second head. So depending on if you're using the Freedom 22 or Freedom 21, if you need to offset those heads, stitch them, this is what you will uh, be using to adjust that. And the sound button here at the bottom, that's an audible tone that lets you know when the unit has finished or completed a print cycle. It's great for your initial testing or setup. Uh, over time, you may not need it, so you can just uncheck the box there. We'll go through some of your other menus here, such as Edit File. Once we select that, that brings up your message editor and the ability to add in all the appropriate objects for your code. And then we have your settings menu. Uh, we have the ability to calibrate your screen. If for some reason the touch is off, you can use the screen calibration. This may require the use of a USB mouse. Uh, if you have any questions about that, please give us a call at Sneed Coding Solutions. We have the ability to import fonts. Again, if you need assistance with that or if you have a specialty font that you would like to import, we will cover that in a different video or feel free to give us a call at Sneed Coding Solutions. In our advanced feature here, that's a special reserve section for Sneed Coding to input uh, or update the unit. And then we have our About Device screen here. This is going to give you a current software version. If any of the technicians ever ask you for that, that'll let, that lets you know where that is at. Uh, our ink type and the recommended voltage or pulse width. Uh, the remaining is going to be the remaining amount of ink approximate in there and then the expiration date of the ink. And then last but not least, we have our print button. This turns the print on and off. And our shutdown feature, uh, this allows us to shut down the whole unit. That is advisable for standard shutdowns. 
However, if the machine is accidentally shut down during a power outage or somebody uh, pulls the plug or something like that, no damage will be done. Just make sure that you power it down completely, allow it to sit for a few seconds, and then plug it back in. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 833-926-3464. Thank you for using Sneak Coding Solutions.